now more than ever before, leaders are under increasing pressure. They face many demands. They need to be on 24-7, 365 days of the year. They need to be always available. Under this pressure, what happens is that leaders often um, command and control. There's a fast pace, there are lots of demands, they're under great pressure, so they respond in the same kind of way. Unfortunately, that response often backfires for leaders. And rather than increasing the pace of work and increasing the quality of work, getting more done, the opposite happens. Leaders burn out, people find it very um, hard to engage in that kind of climate, um, and they also um, don't engage with a leader and don't get the results that they need to get. Our experience of success is wrapped up in what happens for us every day as we come to work. We make a decision each day about what's important to do, what do I want to do, how much effort am I going to put into this task or this project, and deciding who I want to work with and how much I like those people. So every day, everyone is making decisions like that. If people don't feel valued, if they don't feel that their work is recognised, then they disengage. They don't put in the effort around important work and they don't necessarily work with people they don't want to work with, even if it's important for them to do that. There are four critical coaching skills. There are many different coaching skills that you might use and that you might already have in your repertoire, but the four in particular that I want to focus on, because I think what they do is they provide the real coach presence, um, and that provides you with um, a different, if you like, persona or approach when you engage with people that's quite different from the command and control or the usual typical management style. It's particularly useful for leaders to think about developing a broader coaching culture, not just focusing on their own coaching capability. A culture that is characterised by coaching is one that's very energising and empowering for people. A research by Josh Burson shows that when there's strong business support for coaching, then the business results improve by about 13%. And when senior leaders coach in the business, then that increases to 21%. So there's a 21% improvement in business results when senior leaders coach. So that's very much what leaders need to do.